<sighs> Hello, Rhythmia peeps. I'm hoping you're going to peep in and join me today. <laughs> Hi there, it's Kim. It's Kim Stan with Terranova popping into Rhythmia. So happy to be here. When you jump on today, please type your name, where you're at, what's going on in your world today. Just type it in and say hello to me, please. Um, it's a beautiful afternoon here in California. And Esther, hello. And I'm glad to be here with you this day. Hello, Karen from Scotland. Happy, happy to see you. Hi, Terry. I love this. Everyone say hello. We may not be at Rhythmia right now in Costa Rica, but at least we're right here together. Esther's in Montreal. Beautiful. I'm in the Malibu Mountains right now, and it's probably one of the first days um, of seeing the sun clearly because we've had so, so many fires here on the west coast of the States. So it's been pretty smoky. Super happy to see sun and, oh, all sorts of other people. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Autumn. So happy you're here. Um, my name is Kim. I am the um, spiritual teacher of The Answer Is You at the Rhythmia Life Advancement Center. Hi, Debbie. And I will be back there soon with all of you um, as soon as possible, as soon as all boarders are ready to have us back there. And until then, I get to meet you here every other Saturday and every Friday on our love. Hi, Veronica. Um, so nice to have you all here. Let me see if I can answer as many questions and still simultaneously keep, talk to you with everything I wanted to tell you today. Hi, Mar Marie's in California. Hello, Marie. So I am looking at something that I think is really important for us to consider this day is that across the world and specifically happening a lot in the United States right now is this energy feeling tone of really being on a bit of a 911 call. And I'm going to say around the world <laughs> that we're feeling the, the evidence, the experience of really being in an environment situation in life right now that we feel that we're on the edge of a 911 call. So I'm going to share with you here in my life in 911 calls, there's a, there's a term in the Malibu mountains. It's in all over the place. It's not just here. I've just experienced it here where when the fires are raging across our beautiful earth, that we get firemen give us a call of be ready, set, go. Those three words, ready, set, go. I've had direct experience of this, ready, set, go. And I know a lot of other individuals are dealing with this. And I want us to consider where is our ready, set, go in life? And when are we going to really activate what that means and what's possible in it? So let's consider this. If we're on the edge of our own inner transformation in life and continually growing, stretching, practicing to stay awake and alert in our lives, the 911 calls don't come with the same sense of reaction as if we're not in practice. When we're in practice for really staying alert to what's occurring in our lives right now and lifting our practice, which is what we do a lot of at Rhythmia, is really healing, cleaning on many things that you're talking about, few people you've asked here, um, and I won't be able to answer all these questions. We're, we're still finalizing the date that will be open, but it's soon, and our healing modalities are wide and rich at Rhythmia, thank goodness. And one of them is really building a strong spiritual practice, which is what I get to assist you to do there, is to heal and build a practice of self-care that is deep. When we are living a solid self-practice, our responses to the 911 calls in our life and the world 
are much more empowered and grounded to be activated by spiritual truth instead of fear. Circumstances of our lives, circumstances are still occurring. When we have more tools to deal with those occurrences, we're rising through them instead of staying stuck by them. So now, back to the firemen when there's fires, and there's a lot of them right now. When a fireman says to us in our community, those three, those three statements, ready, set, go, and that's their call. Can we please stay alert? What that is meant to me, and I've been through this, is that the ready was get my car packed, get ready. Have everything you know, prepared for what must go out the door at a time of emergency. Set, no, make a plan. Like, what is your plan? Got things in the car, but what's your plan? Which direction are you going and what are you doing? And the go was, and when the firemen say go now, there isn't a, <clears throat> you could go in a little while. It's like, no, you go now. When this occurred for me and I got my ready set go, I had the car packed. I had a plan and didn't know it'd be in the middle of the night that that go came as a 911 go now and start going fast because the fire's right there. When we look at that in our own individual lives, each and every one of us, hi Dan, whether it is through a family emergency, our own health emergency, an employment emergency, whatever we have in a ready, set, go, if we're looking at it like this, what is our own inner 911 and where can we be prepared individually to move with strength and calm response, not a reaction to fear? There's just such a difference. So I want to consider what ready, set, go really means in our life when we're looking at all our individual's happenings. Ready can turn into, you have to stay in solid prayer, to be ready for the circumstances in our lives right now, the intense circumstances across the world right now and individually in our lives. When we are sticking to a solid practice moment by moment, and what is my prayer? Then we are moving through, we are ready for the next circumstance because we're holding a consciousness that all things are possible, that I have a connection to spirit that is going to lift me through this circumstance. What is the prayer that you have for your life to lift you through the 911 calls? Because they're always gonna come at different times in our lives. But what is our prayer that keeps us solid to know that we move through them, not stay stuck by them? There was times, I've spoken about it in my book, that those 911 calls were coming hard and fast in my life. And it was usually from a fireman or one of my children being rushed to the hospital from an accident. In those 911 calls, the first place I choose to go to was, whew, what is my prayer? I've got to get through this emergency, but I want to do it in a way that I'm staying connected to source spirit while I move through the emergency. So to do that, we get to practice daily what is a prayer? Each and every one of us has our own. It could just be, I accept and know all of my life is unfolding for our highest good. Great prayer. Someone could, others can know it has to be by rote a certain one. That's great. Whatever connects you to source energy, I ask that you amplify your prayer for the 911s that are going on in our life right now. Okay, so our ready is prayer. Our set of ready, set, go. Set is that we lean into trust. We can't lean into trust if we don't have prayer first. So if we're setting our minds clear on my prayers for this, that we're moving through this, that there's divine solutions here, that there's a spiritual strength that's in me that's propelling me forward in the midst of what appears to be a disaster, those are all prayers, then our element of set means we build a field of trust within us that's connected to source energy. Trust is something that gets to be cultivated. I didn't come in just trusting everyone and everything. I trusted my breath when I first came into my body temple and each and every one of us 
can remember that, wow, nobody told me how to breathe and my body just started doing it. If we could lean into that trust, like that's how much I trust source energy, whatever it is, because it was breathing me before I even knew how to do it. Think of what are you cultivating in your life right now that builds a foundation of trust? Whatever you wish to name it, your own inner technology within your soul, your, your inner strength, that can you keep building your inner strength and trust that inner sweet voice within each and every one of you that is always speaking to you. When we build our trust, then any space of emergency circumstance, 911 that comes to us, we've got a backbone of solid faith in whatever honors you. I don't believe there's just one path of faith and trust. We each have our own. And I really invite you to think about what do I trust? And where can I build my level of trust? If you know you trust that your heart is beating, begin there. I trust this. I trust that my heart is beating. I trust that I'm going to listen to that inner voice. I trust that I'm going to be guided as I move forward today. Build that. When I was on my ready, set, go. And those firemen said, run now. That field of prayer was first. Next, I had to trust that what I put into place, the spiritual structure I'd put into place was going to support me in a very scary time. Individuals across the earth right now, each of us that are dealing with our own scary time, when we have a field of what do I trust that I could be moving through this and we're consistently building it, it gives us the lift off to move through situations that seem insurmountable. So let's build it. Let's build that field of I'm trusting today that I'm going to move through this day with as much strength as I can. I'm trusting today that I'm going to have food on the table and water to drink. What can you trust so that you can keep building that? Okay? Prayer. Trust. So when we move into go mode in a response to an urgent call, our go is not from panic. Our go is from wisdom. Consider that, that when we are propelled forward in life, if we're building our practice over and over again, then our movement into doing comes from wisdom, comes from practice, comes from grace, comes from deep trust, not from panic. When we're in panic, we're in reaction. When we're in panic, Sometimes we're not leaning into source energy, whatever we name it, to guide us. So all of it, ready, set, go, becomes our natural practice through life. And when we are considering, where am I ready? Where am I set? So if I've got to go, I'm well stocked with wisdom as I move forward in my life. I'm not sure. But I'd like us to keep talking about it because there's more to prepare for ahead in the world. And we are the ones, each and every one of us that are here this morning, here today, here, that whoever you bump into today, there's purpose for every single one of us being on this planet at this given time. And as we continue to heal our own hearts, practice deep levels of self-care, connection, meditation, prayer, intention, visioning, healing, work, ceremony, transformational breath work, whatever our path is to connect to source, then we're building a powerful foundation of trust so that any circumstance outside of us is not too big. That's my prayer for each and every one of you, is let's build the muscle of inner strength, inner technology that's based in a foundation of ready, set, go, prayer, trust, surrender, so that we may know we've got all we need at any given time. Our go is our surrender to the practice, our surrender to what we've healed, what we've created, and what we know within us. So we get to consider this today, that there's no mistake the firemen put that in place, ready, set, go, but we get to look at it like, where am I in my 
preparation for my life. Where am I prepared for the circumstances that come to me so that I can be lifted by them and assist everyone around me to be lifted as well? So it's just super important. And I want to inspire within you a practice that brings you back to your center. Say today, what could you do today? What could you be today in your practice that would have you in a place of trust and surrender? Just think of one thing. I'm listening to all of you. Could be a walk on the beach. If you're not near a beach, could be a walk down the street around the corner and enjoying the trees. Could be sitting still in meditation and just connecting to source energy and remembering who you are. Could be prayer. Could be in practice. Could be reading and journaling today. What could it be that would assist you to come back to center, back to center, back to center, so that you are consistently ready for this life? Because it's a big life. Autumn, I'm in a set mode for Rhythmia, so am I. <laughs> I'm with you on that, and I will meet you there. So it's, it's a beautiful day for us to be awake, alert, and prepared for all that is occurring in life right now. And I want to assist you to, to do that, is to keep staying awake. What am I surrendered to? What is my prayer? What is my practice this day? Okay. Last night I had a practice that was a little wacky, but I went for it. It was like, I think it was midnight. And it was so beautiful outside because the skies finally cleared. The smoke wasn't intense. And I could see all the stars. And I built this path through the property that is pretty rugged. And I decided to walk it at nighttime with a flashlight. And with my son, wasn't on my own. And the beauty was that it was such an act of gratitude. It was my spiritual practice. I'm so grateful that I could walk these stairs in the dark, connect with the earth, trust that my feet could get me where I need to go. And with every step, bless this beautiful earth so that my prayers for blessing it, to bless everyone across the earth, to bless that the vibration of my steps are pulling and it's giving the vibration of love to someone else, that there's just a vibration. We can be conscious of the vibrations that we are leaving and giving in this time. So walk the whole path in the dark with the flashlight, listening to critters and so aware of it. It was more than enough. That was enough of a practice to stand ready, set in surrender and in solid practice of what I know to be true, that we're growing vibrationally at every breath we take. Okay? So today, I just shared mine. I'm asking you to get in the engagement of your practice. Practice something today that will bring you back to more trust, more surrender, and more of a prayerful state of your mind so that the circumstance of life you get to respond to calmly, bringing your gifts and light to every circumstance and allowing the fear to melt away and that faith rises up because we are moving through this time in human history together. And we will be at Rhythmia celebrating, diving deeper in our healing, meeting here and continuing onward because that's what we're committed to doing and being. So I bless you this day. I bless you every day. I ask that you consider your ready, set, go and stand and trust and surrender today until I see you again. All right, go practice, stay clear and available for all your good, and I will see you in Rhythmia. And until then, know I'm sending you big prayers and blessings for all good to be delivered to you with ease and grace. It's Kim, and I'm signing off, and I'll see you soon.